Little warning, it's some steep shit here. This is sky running. Another day, another day on the road. Um, head back up to Flagstaff right now. I've got a meeting with Arizona Snowball. We're going over the whole staging area and what the course is gonna look like with all of the construction that's going on. So I've got some coffee and some uh, breakfast here and uh, I'm gonna make my way up to Flag another day. <laughs> I'll be up there a lot this week. So uh, all in the day of the life of a race director. Uh, getting pretty close to Flagstaff here. It's so funny, I feel like I basically commute here almost every day. It's becoming, a two hour drive is becoming just like a, like a trip around the corner, trip around the block. Drove up here, what, last, last Monday. Then I drove through here on the way to Gunnison and back. Just last night, I was getting back and now I'm back up here again. So that's pretty funny. Um, and then I'll be back up here Thursday morning to set up for the race. <laughs> But it's uh, looking like it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Temperatures, I think, in the 70s, the low around 40. It's gonna be just absolutely amazing. No chance of rain, pretty much just blue skies. Couldn't ask for a better October race, basically. Uh, if you don't know, Snowball was recently bought out by uh, a group that owns, or I think maybe just one guy. He owns like five or six ski resorts here in the Southwest. And uh, they seem to be putting a lot of money into this thing. They're putting new lift lines in. They're clearing out some of the, the down trees and uh, who even knows what else they're doing. Maybe I'll get a little inside view and look into uh, what exactly they have planned. But hopefully down the line, it will be good for this race. It looks like they're building some more parking areas. So I'll bring you guys along. I'm probably gonna mark the VK course today. I have all the course markers. Might as well just get it done. No one's really gonna be out on the slopes this week, so that'll be nice to have that done and out of the way, because we've got like a lot to do in the next two days to get everything ready for the race, including like packing our box truck and uh, finalizing all the communications with the runners and with the volunteers. So stay tuned for more of that. Just got up here to Snowball. There's so much construction going on. All right, just got out of the meeting. It's a little crazy out here still. So I got a little inside scoop. They're gonna be building a new lodge out here, which is pretty cool. It's gonna be located right there, across from the old one, which is gonna be renovated. They're also building another structure up top there that's gonna seat 300 people. And uh, the reason they're digging up this road is they're putting a bridge in so that the, the traffic goes under and you can walk across the bridge and access the different lodges and things, so. Anywho, meeting went well. I'm gonna suit up now and go mark this trail for the VK course. Just taking a couple minutes here before I head out to uh, uh, do a little work for the race, going through our base camp, which is an app we use for keeping track of all of our logistics for our events. So kind of going through our to-do list for Flag Sky Race, making some notes from the meeting, and um, just making sure everything's moving forward smooth since I'm not in the office today. So it's kind of a nice thing about uh, technology these days is you can kind of work from anywhere, even as a race director, uh, with freaking sweet ass views like this. We've got uh, construction going on here. It's like big earth moving trucks. Off in the distance there, you can see, um, that's actually Kendrick Peak. Zoom in a little bit there. You can see some of those, uh, some of those colors popping off right there. Pretty amazing. So anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna probably do maybe another 10, 15 minutes of work here and then uh, grab my course markers and get the, the VK course all marked up and uh, get some burden at the same time. Probably, you know, it's three o'clock right now, probably about three hours before it gets dark, three, three and a half. So probably, it'll probably take me about that, that long just to mark it. So I might get 3,000, um, maybe a little bit more uh, feet of climbing in today. All right, got my markers already. Got my pack ready. Got my uh, old ass Solomon shoes here. I think I got some new pairs coming in the mail pretty soon, but um, all right, it's four o'clock. I better hit it. It's gonna be dark by the time I'm done. This is how me as a runner gets my upper body workout in, carrying a bunch of these flags around. Otherwise I'd be a scrawny little punk. Man, look at that beautiful day out. Ow! I think I feel better than yesterday out here, but uh, still feeling a bit sick. 
All right, this is the spot I was talking about yesterday that I didn't film, it's extremely steep and loose. So, as you can see, the marker's up there. Uh, there's this seed netting that was down up until that point, and then it ends, and then it just turns into uh, this really loose gravelly part. So, I'm trying to mark it the best that I can, but it's just a section where you want to take it real slow if you're out here running with us, as uh, it just literally acts like marbles on a hillside. And, <laughs> to boot, it's literally right above the finish area, which is right down there. All right, I'm gonna attempt to go down this without falling, show you how crazy it is. Oh, oh, oh. It's best to kind of walk on the, on the vegetation a little. All right, I think I'm gonna take people this way. Wow, really happy to be up here, not gonna lie. Sun is setting soon. I am at uh, 10,700 feet. I've gotta drop back down to 10,000 feet and then go back up to 11.5, so uh, it's gonna be real close on the light here. But uh, check out the view. Oh man, got the lift line right here, going down this way. Way off in the distance, Grand Canyon is like right over there. And looking up, that's the Midway Load Station, and uh, it's, it's a good time. Back up at Midway, I uh, just came up Volcano. This is Upper Volcano, the last pitch to the top. It starts out with like a scramble on all fours and just goes up from there. So steep. All right, made it, 11,500 feet, topped out. Just a little bit of glow left in the day, in the evening. Oh, I'm tired, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, but it's so nice to be out here, damn. Yeah, I don't even know what to say, it's so freaking pretty. So uh, there will be people finishing in the dark. Uh, that's why we have these reflectors uh, on all of our markers, but check this out. Point the camera up. Whoa, whoa, these are all of our reflectors way up the mountain. All right, y'all, that wraps up uh, today's course mark and work up here at Arizona Snowball. I'm gonna head into town now and uh, scope out some grub. Pretty hungry, all in all, Pretty awesome day up here. Got in at least 3,300 feet of climb so far. And uh, great way to start the week. Yeah. Check it guys, this is the new Trail Crest Brewing Company. Uh, actually an ultra runner trail runner opened this place up and it just literally opened like three days ago So I'm gonna go in and scope it out. It looks like it's already got quite a few people in there I don't know if they're serving their own beer yet or not, but um, I'm gonna try out some of their food. I guess It's pretty crazy. So uh, they're not brewing their own beer yet, but they're gonna be bringing in tanks probably by the end of the year and um They've currently got all local food and all local beers. So they've got a ton of Flagstaff beers on tap. They've got uh, local mead and also like all kinds of liquors and stuff from here. So um, you will have to come back and stop in for a beer once they start brewing. But this place is pretty cool. And it's owned by uh, Trail Ultra Runner. So check it out, Trail Crest Brewing Company. Uh, they're now open in Flagstaff. Just like that, I'm back here in Phoenix. It is 11.30 p.m. Transferring some video files right now and uh, doing a little more work before I uh, finally am off to bed. What a day. All right guys, that's it for this video. 
I'm gonna wrap things up and uh, head home. Have a good one. Peace.